Ladies, welcome to The Feminine Mystery. My name is Azalea Dawn, and on my channel, I talk about leveling up, femininity, elegance, and everything you need to attract the right masculine provider for you. So if any of that sounds interesting, then please check out the rest of the videos on my channel. And without further ado, let's get started with today's topic. Today, I wanted to talk all about why appearances matter. Now, I think that a big part of why it is that I wanted to talk about this is that in the uh, Black American community, uh, specifically, Specifically, I think that a lot of the time we uh, tend to reduce appearances to sort of a sexual thing, right? We tend to reduce our looks to how sexually desirable we are, like whether or not we have, you know, breasts that are a certain size or a big butt or something like that, or like a small waist, right? Like that's where we go to when it comes to appearance. But the reason that I thought about talking about this was because appearance is so much more than sexual desire, right? There are plenty of people in the world like once you step out of you know like that very small community of like people who all you know like know and think like a certain way and you start to experience different cultures especially more affluent social circles there are all sorts of people who are looking at your appearance and who are using your appearance as a tool to evaluate you and it has nothing to do with sex like it's not about whether or not you have like a bbl or i don't know like breast implants or like a 28 inch waist or whatever <laughs> you know like you're looking to go uh, to have going on for yourself right like it's not about any of those things it's about your appearance how you carry yourself how you put yourself forward and i thought that this was something that's very important to talk about appearances do matter and they're a very key tool and how it is that other people are going to evaluate you and the kind of opportunities that you're going to get in the world so i thought i would talk about this and explore it a little bit more <laughs> so if you're interested in that then stick around for the rest of this video now, the first reason that appearances matter is because people will assume that what's on the outside matches what's on the inside. This is just the way that most people operate. Like, people do not have, you know, infinite time and resources to get to know every single interest intricacy, excuse me, about every person that exists on the planet. There are 8 billion people. So people need information at a glance. They need to be able to look at something and get information about it, to be able to look at a person and get information about that person. And fortunately, people do use your appearance to do that. So if you are somebody who you have, you know, shaggy, crazy hair that looks unkempt, people assume that you are just not a very tidy person. You're not somebody who has, you know, maybe be like the time or resources to put you know effort into your appearance people assume that when you have like dirty nails that you're an unhygienic person right it's not like oh like maybe you were just like hiking or like rock climbing or something and there's just stuff under your nails like people go straight to the fact that like oh you probably have poor hygiene when people look at you and everything that you're wearing is super wrinkled right you they automatically assume that you're somebody who doesn't care about your appearance you don't care about the way that you look and because you don't care about the way you look it must not be important for you to look good in your life so you're definitely not somebody who has like some sort of like i don't know like powerful position in society you're definitely not like you know like a ceo or like on the board of directors of some major company like walking around in this wrinkled mangy clothing right these are the kinds of like judgments that people make except that we make them in the snap like in a fraction of a second that's how powerful the human brain is right people can make these judgments subconsciously right and they can just use that to dictate how they consciously choose to treat you how they consciously choose to approach you and at the end of the day people just do not have time to make sure that they are treating the the janitor like they are treating the ceo people are busy they have places to go and things to do <laughs> and unfortunately i would love if everybody in the world got equitable treatment regardless of the way that they looked or you know like whatever was going on but that's just not the reality of the situation that's not the reality of the one planet that we live on <laughs> right like we have like this singular like shared human society and in this society the way that we look often does dictate the way that other people are going to treat us so it's important that you start to make sure that the way that you look on the outside is a proper reflection of what's going on in the inside if you are somebody who is dignified who is you know elegant who is you know feminine that you should look like that on the outside too 
Now, the second point that I wanted to make is that affluent people in particular are often too busy to microanalyze you. So I know that there's this classic adage of don't judge a book by its cover. You know, like we are often like fed that in society a lot. But the reality is that in the affluent community, people have to do that. Like they do not have time to get to know every single person that they are going to come into contact with. That's just the reality of it. People who are affluent, who have, you know, high status positions in society who have like a lot of money and a lot of societal privilege they just do not have time to you know invest themselves deeply into every single social interaction that they have they have a lot of social interactions and therefore like they're not going to be able to like dig into like the oh like what's really going on right like do you like are you wearing sweatpants out of your house like (laughs) on like a Tuesday morning, right? Like it's Tuesday, it's 10 a.m. and you're out and about representing yourself. Maybe you're wearing sweatpants because you're just rich and you don't care what anybody thinks about you. People who have like lives going on, they don't have time to like sit there and like analyze and like go back and forth about what something could or could not mean. They're just going to take what it is that you have going on at face value and move on. If you look like somebody who is productive, if you look like somebody who's doing well, that's what they're going to think about you. And that might be, you know, like a sad thing if there's like a mismatch between your appearance and the reality of who it is that you are. But like, affluent people are using this to their advantage they understand the importance of looking their best right like when you see these people like for example if you go to like the Wharton Business School or something they are having you know like professional headshots taken these young people are you know getting like tailored suit tailored suits excuse me they're having professional pictures taken they're making sure that their presence on LinkedIn is superb and immaculate because they know that they're going to be evaluated by other people in their social circle based on their appearance, you know, and they have, you know, a lot going on for themselves. These are the people who could choose to forsake that. And yet, and still they don't, that's because they know that it's important and that you only get one chance to make that first impression. So you really should just go ahead and make sure that the impression that you're leaving on other people, especially people who don't know you well, who maybe will not ever get deeply invested in you, right? Make sure that those people are left with a positive impression of you. The third point that I wanted to bring up is that people should not judge you, but they do. (laughs) You know, like that is another thing that I think is like a little bit of like a limiting belief that really like holds us back from investing in our appearance, right? We believe in like all of these shoulds about like what other people should and should not be doing, right? Other people should treat us fairly. Other people should do this. They should do that. They should, 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 should. But like when you're walking around shoulding all over other people, it really holds you back from understanding what is happening, what is going on, right? (laughs) Life is not about what other people should do as much as it's about what other people are actually doing, right? That's the nature of reality. We can have all of these abstract ideas, we can have all of these abstract shoulds and coulds and woulds, but at the end of the day... (laughs) There's only one reality and people are going to do what they're going to do. And part of that is judging other people. (laughs) That's just the reality of it. Now, you can, you know, be mad about this. You can work against it. You can decide that you're going to be somebody who is counterculture, who has this kind of like disgusting or off-putting appearance. Like you see that a lot with like counterculture movements, like people who have like those like door knocker piercings in their nose and they have like gross tattoos all over their face. Maybe they have like deliberately like poorly kept teeth or like whatever is going on with them. Like they decided that they're going to make themselves look awful because they don't care about society's beauty standards is like the message of at least that they're trying to send. But you don't want to be somebody who's like that. If you really want to take your life places in positive places, you need to understand that, you know, God may judge you on the inside, but other people are going to judge you on the outside because they can't see what's inside you. Only God can. (laughs) So you're going to have to, you know, like make that outside work, (laughs) unfortunately. And that can be like a very like empowering thing when you actually lean into it right understanding that like yeah maybe people shouldn't be a certain way but they are a certain way so what am I going to do about that how am I going to make sure that when people are judging me that they're judging me positively right that's the key thing here don't be afraid of judgment be afraid of being judged negatively and 
you know what? Don't be afraid of being judged negatively. Do what you can to ensure that you are judged positively. At the end of the day, yeah, some people are just haters. Like, they just don't like anything that anybody else does. But you need to be uh, seizing the opportunity so that people who are reasonable, people who do give each other give other people grace and who are like open to seeing the best in other people give them what they need to see the best in you give them what they need to think highly of you now last thing i want to circle back around to what it is i was talking about in the first place there's more to appearances than just your body now i think that like i was saying a lot of times like people reduce like appearance to this idea of like your sexual features right like if you're a woman it's about like how big your breasts are how big your butt is how small your waist is is it 28 inches is it 26 inches right is it 24 inches maybe you're just you know like a corset queen like i don't know your life but it's really not about that when it comes to people who are you know like especially looking to have more platonic relationships with you your reflection is is an appearance of like how it is that you take care of yourself, what your values are, what you think is important in the world, and the kind of life that you're living, right? A lot of people are looking towards your appearance as a means to get to know about you, as a means to learn about you. There are some people who, you know, like are a bit like lower on like the self-monitoring scale, like they just don't really care about their appearance. They don't care about how they come off to other people, and they're not really interested in other people as a result, right? They're just like very all about themselves. But there are also a lot of people who are interested in other people. You know, they might sit at like a cafe and just like go people watching. They might, you know, like uh, go to the grocery store in a particular area and just like watch the different people who are in that community and like evaluate them on some, you know, basis because like they're just people who are interested in other people. They're people who are interested in how they participate in society. And those people often care more about their appearance. They care more about the message that they're sending to other people with their appearance and you want to start to like try to think about um not just the people who don't care but like start to think about the people who do care because it's the people who do care who are ultimately going to be the ones who have the opinions in the first place they're going to be the ones who are able to create opportunities for you able to you know like introduce themselves to you or not they're going to be the people who are you know out and about at social events you know getting on with other people they're going to be the people who make relationships, you know, platonic and romantic happen. So if you want to be a more social person, if you want to start putting yourself out there, it's very important to like think about your appearances as more than just like a sexual thing. Don't think that just because you don't have like a huge butt and like thin little legs, like I don't know, like a molar or something. Don't think that just because you don't have like this or that going on that you should just give up on your appearance. You should definitely invest into having nice skin, nice hair, nice nails, you know, a very pleasing personal presence about you. It really is important and it will open up a lot of like doors and opportunities for you. Now, ladies, that's going to be it for me today. If you've enjoyed this video, then please leave it a like below. And if you're interested in any more content on femininity, elegance, and hypergamy, then please check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I will see you in my next video. Until then, it's been Azalea Dawn, and I will see you then.